hand and my index finger. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to point at each target. One, two, three. That's how you're going to shoot it. I just them. recently retired from about 29 years in federal law enforcement. And just recently uh, I retired from the Federal Air Marshal Service after 12 years in the U.S. Secret Service and before that I was in the U.S. Air Force. All right, when you're ready. The baseline lead level, and you keep an eye on it once a year. And situational awareness doesn't just apply to, to the military, law enforcement, tactical. That's one of the best ways to define situational awareness, is you are evaluating what's happening around you. You're paying attention. Um, what it is, why it's important, and then we'll get into the, the how-to and how to do it safely. All right, when you're ready. The TSA as a whole, to me, doesn't work very well at all. It's just too large and there's too much administration. Let's look at the last word in their name. Transportation Security Administration. Stop the night! Turning to do six, six shots or more at a time in a controlled fashion. And basically you're turning a semi-automatic handgun into a submachine gun. Now I don't mean mechanically, so if you work for the ATF, close your pilot. My second hand is going to be four fingers over three fingers. And you're doing it like a clam almost. Door jam and knock the doorknob off the door. That's what you don't want to do. You want to keep your finger in contact with the trigger, the reset, you start the trigger pressure back. How to take a concealed carry crap. What do you do when you have a carry permit and you're at the movies or you're somewhere and you have your pistol on you and you have to go to the bathroom? A great skill to have for uh, competitive shooting, for recreational shooting, and in, in the defense of your life or somebody else's if that's what you do for them.